going on everybody it's uh again 20 after 5 out here um another cloudy day dim light but uh the guy was out here earlier uh opened up to so opening up a few of the dams and uh said we got a couple beaver so we'll get back here get these uh get these things out get the sets remade uh i don't think there's very much more in here but we'll leave them set for a few more days anyway. Just see what happens. So just to be on the safe side. Anyway, stay tuned and uh, we'll head back here and check them out. First trap. You see a live one right there. Not a real big one, but again we'll take it all right y'all so, uh over here to the last trap had uh, another fairly small one he's uh not real big but definitely bigger than uh than the last three i caught here i believe that's eight i believe that's eight beavers out of here so anyway, don't uh, don't discredit shallow water. Uh, if the beaver in there, the beaver's still going to be swimming. They're still going to be looking around, messing around. Put a couple. Like I said in this spot here, I had two caster sets and two blind sets at crossovers. And uh, this is beaver number eight, either eight or nine, out of here. So it works. Um, anyway, we'll get these things out of here. We get this trap remade, get the other trap pulled, and uh, haul these things on up to the truck and get on home. So, check it later and see you on the next one. All right, y'all, so we got the traps pulled, or not pulled, I'm sorry. I reset all the traps. Figure I'm gonna have my hands full walking out of here with these beavers, so with no point in taking a set out. So move the set down a little bit further um in the in the run that it was in so i had to move a couple of them just to try and get something i don't know like i said i don't know how much more is still in here but i wouldn't have thought these two were in here anyway there they are not monsters but definitely uh definitely good to get out and uh yeah we'll see i um, got the one on the caster set and uh, the other one on a crossover blind set but anyway as you see it's getting dark i'm um, gonna get these guys out of here and... all right everybody <clears throat> so got back here nothing nothing in the traps which is pretty much what i expected um i'm pretty sure we done got everything out of here but i'm gonna leave them go for the night uh, tomorrow's Friday, so when I get off work tomorrow, uh, if there's nothing down, I'll pull them, move on to the next spot. But it's a pretty good, uh, we got pretty good numbers out of here, uh, more than I expected. I think it was, uh, it was eight or nine total. I have to, uh, think, get an exact number, but it's either eight or nine. But again, when the first time I come back here, it was like, man, this is really shallow water. It's probably pointless. And, and uh, it had been a perfect setup for 330s or, you know, something like that. But here in Delaware, we, we can't use 330s. Above water, below water, it don't matter. We can't use them, which is a little ridiculous. But that's the way it is. So, yeah, so we're limited to foot traps and uh cable restraints and i'm not familiar with using cable restraints so foot traps it is i mean if we could have used 330s i might have ventured out there to that lodge and put you know a couple 330s there 330s on the crossovers you know instead of dealing with the the foot traps and the you know the drowning rods but you know nothing can't take anything away from the foot traps i mean i catch the hell out of beaver <clears throat> you know so 
and uh, again with those J3 uh, beaver rods and the and the hags brackets uh, slide locks, man, holy crap! It's way easier than carrying cinder blocks and brake rotors, man. I'm telling you. I mean, listen to that snap. Phew. Those MB750s are awful bad too, but they're not nearly as snappy as those bridgers. You hit the pan on them bridgers. They are toast. So anyway, that's a wrap here. Like I said, been here a week to the day from the time I set to the time I pulled. Nine beaver, shallow water. Had uh, uh, three out of the nine were alive when I got here to check. And the rest of them were drowned. I don't know how, but they did. Anyway, that's a wrap. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see where the next spot's going to be.